Against the backdrop of a world economy bruised by the credit crunch and a trend favouring smaller, more efficient cars, it's a tough challenge launching a brand new premium mid-size saloon, even for an established brand like BMW. However, the new 5 is larger and more sophisticated than any of its predecessors, which poses the question, is the new 5 not the closest and most dangerous rival of the 7 series? It's true to say that market conditions continue to favour a buying downtrend. It's hard for senior managers to warrant driving swanky machines when the company's bottom line is under pressure, which might make driving a 5 Series more economically palatable than a 7, even though it won't make anyone look like a money miser. It's easy to dismiss the shape of the new 5 as a mere spin-off of the 7, but the reality, in fact, is quite different. It has shorter overhangs, sharper profile, and a more athletic stance. The 7 might still be the coach of the team, but the 5 is an athlete and a talented one at that. Most of all, the 5 is about the details. Carefully crafted creases add dimension and character to the bonnet's vast expanse of metal, while the pronounced shoulder line draws attention to the car's dynamic, muscular stance. The blunt front end with the large kidney grills adds authority and aggression, underscored by the angry stare of the tapered headlights. But this latest 5 also reflects a rather more sober, more conventional look than its controversial, non-conformist predecessor. And it's also obvious that the design is meant to express a stronger, more cohesive styling identity Entity that links the 5 to the 7 and even to the smaller 3 series. It's a shape that only really comes alive when considered on the move. Only then do its fluent lines become truly apparent. Those large alloy wheels and fat performance rubber aren't just for show either. On the 5 they'll get lots of exercise. The new 5 Series is offered with a variety of petrol and turbo diesel engines, headed up by the flagship 550i V8. Our test car carries the 535i badge, which means it has a turbocharged 3-litre straight-six engine delivering 225 kilowatts of maximum power and 400 newton meters of torque. That urge translated to the rear wheels via an 8-speed Steptronic gearbox. The good news is that the transmission allows ample scope for sporty, committed driving, which is vital to the overall BMW persona. Cog swaps are quick and precise in manual mode, with shift paddles adding further luster. There's also the turbo engine's ample shove and twist, and a superbly balanced chassis offering huge reserves and plenty of poise. But there are also other aspects to consider. The new 5 offers a list of amenities and features that is almost identical to that of the 7, which means it's extremely plush inside, it has cutting edge technology and offers comprehensive safety features as well. It doesn't quite have the indulgent roominess of the 7, but it's still a great place to spend time in. Of course, there's loads of space up front and luxury in abundance, while the ergonomic design places the emphasis on clarity and ease of use. The analog instruments remain reassuringly familiar, but much of the rest is electronic and centered around the high-res LCD display of the iDrive user control system. Advanced driver assistance systems include the likes of active cruise control and lane departure warning. Rear accommodation is adequate, if not stretch out spacious, while the luggage compartment offers plenty of cargo space. But for me, the legacy of successive 5 Series generations means that the newcomer has to deliver in dynamic terms. Luxury and technology are common traits in this sector, but the ability to thrill and reward the committed driver is what has always set the 5 apart from its peers. The problem with the new 5 Series is that it's so composed that it understates what it's actually capable of in dynamic terms. But on paper you can see that the potential is there. 0 to 100, 6.1 seconds. Top speed, of course, limited as per usual, 250 kilometers an hour. The good news is that this BMW also delivers on those paper promises. It enjoys being driven with gusto and rewards the committed driver with road manners more akin to that of a wieldy sports sedan than a luxury saloon. While the new 5 is bigger than its predecessor, its sophisticated underpinnings mean that this sedan offers unflustered road manners. But hurl it around a couple of corners and you realize that the inherent sportiness, which is such a part of the 5 Series psyche, is still very much alive and well. The difference here is that this new generation 5 has upped the limits a couple of notches, making it easy for most to cover ground rapidly, comfortably and safely. That's placed the entertainment factor further out of reach, but it's still there for those enthusiasts intent on exploring the car's considerable talents. 
There's a perception that the new 5 is little more than a baby 7 and that it's lost some of its dynamic appeal in the process, but I beg to differ. Sure, it has all the luxury and all the graces of the 7, but it offers a more involving and more athletic driving experience. It's not a sports car, for that we'll have to wait for 2012's BMW M5, but it is an accomplished sports sedan. The thing with this car is you just need to drive it that little bit harder than its predecessor. A superb turbocharged engine delivers linear power and instant shove and perpetuates the Five's sports sedan heritage in the process. The result is an accomplished sedan with an impressive depth of dynamic talent, fitting that its 7 Series inspired styling may understate what the Five is capable of.